Many kids across the U.S. are able to get free and reduced price meals during the school year, but are left without those meals during the summer break. There are programs in place to help make sure these kids don't go hungry, but one local food bank and one U.S. Senator say more can be done. WENY Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer caught up with both of them and has this story for you this evening. They're just pretty much relying on donated food and, you know, day old bagels, and that's what they eat all week. This isn't an old statistic. This is what's happening right now to more than 50 children at a summer camp in Tompkins County, New York. In the six counties that I work in, in, in upstate New York, only about 15% of children who get free and reduced meals during the school year are receiving those meals in the summer. It's happening because these kids just missed the threshold for being eligible for the Summer Food Service Program. 42% of them receive free and reduced meals during the school year. The requirement is 50%. That's what brought Randy Quackenbush from the Food Bank of the Southern Tier in upstate New York to our nation's capital. She's here pushing for Senator Gillibrand's Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act and lowering the threshold to 40 percent. But there's another addition she's fighting for. There's um, a requirement that children consume their meals on site, so that requires bringing lots of children into one location, and that can be very difficult when the school buses aren't running. Right now, families have to go to specific meal sites to pick up their lunches. But what the food bank is proposing is taking the meals on the road and then dropping them off, putting more lunch boxes in the hands of those in need. Senator Bob Casey of Pennsylvania supports the act. He says only about 75,000 of the 800,000 kids eligible for summer meals are getting them. It's an insult to families who, sh who should have the expectation that if they're eligible for a program that they're getting the benefit. Both believe that with more awareness and a lower threshold, kids at summer camps like the one in upstate New York would finally have access to fresh foods and not day-old bread. That's the way we're going to win this fight is, is, is being a voice for people and sharing those stories. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer.